let's get started. So, um, as you know, I'm Zoe from Open Site Hampshire. Um, we do these baking sessions once a month on the second Monday of the month via Zoom with our lovely Penny Melville Brown. Today we are doing our winter warmers recipe, or should I say Penny's winter warmers recipe, which is our butternut squash soup, yum, and ginger cake, mm. extra yum. I believe Penny's doing both the recipes at the same time. We've got a few of you that are baking along with us, which is fantastic. Uh, we'd like to see your finished products at the end, whether that's at the end or you take a photo and send it to us via email, that'd be great. Um, I will pass you over to Penny, who will start us off with her lovely recipe, and I'll talk to you again near the end. But over to you, Penny. Thank you so much, Zoe, and hello, everyone. Hello. This is going to be chaotic if you're trying both of these recipes together. <laughs> so just hold on to your horses. Um, first thing I would say is my oven is on gas mark for 180 degrees centigrade or I think it's Celsius in these modern times. I've got on my work surface here, which is full of stuff, um, a hot plate, one of my mobile hot plates. And on there, I have got my butter, sugar, and actually I'm sorry, butter syrup. And I'm using honey instead of sugar for the cake. And that is just melting. And I'm just going to turn that down. And I've also got a pan with my um, oil in it, because I'm going to start the soup, because this was the soup that all those students at Farnborough College asked for. So we're going to do a butternut squash soup. And I'm just going to talk about that very quickly as we get things started on that. And what I've done is I've got all my ingredients, and I'm having to smell this because I can't remember which one is where. Is that the onion? I'm having a sniff. No, that's not the onion. There's the onion. I'm starting off by sauteing the vegetables. And this is a really important bit of this recipe because by getting the um, vegetables slightly caramelized, just slightly cooked, makes it so much easier and gives you much more flavor. And because um, We've got quite a lot of vegetables and it could take us ages. I've actually diced them quite small so they will cook quickly. So you'll be able to hear a sizzle, I think, in a minute as there go. That's the onions going in for that pan. And I've turned it down a bit and I'm putting these vegetables in in sort of order of hardness. And I'm trying to find my carrots next. And what you're hearing is me chimping, chopping on them. But I have to do it by taste. There's the carrots going in. So while they're just softening a little bit and starting to cook, I'm just going to throw away the piece I tasted. Um, we'll start off with this cake. So I've got in front of me a bowl. Yeah. And I've got a box, and you know the maker boxes I use. So I've got lots of boxes already. So in this box are my is my flour, my baking powder, um, the spices, the ginger, the mixed spice, a bit of salt, and all of that. Is going into my bowl. Whack. And she says, trying to make sure she finds the bowl. And that's always interesting when I'm doing this. <laughs> On my top here, I've got a pan. And in there, as I said, I've melted my butter, syrup, and honey. If you're using sugar, just make sure that it's all dissolved. Okay, I'm going to pour that into um, my bowl. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
And I'm scooping that out, getting it as clean as I can. And I'm going to stir it in with my flour and um, other ingredients. And I also have here a box, if I can find it, with my weighed water. You know how much easier it is to manage liquids if you weigh them. That's going to go back into that pan and heat up a bit. So I can add it in a minute and also that will enable me to wash out the bits from that pan. Right, I can smell what's happening in my um, saucepan for the soup. So I'm going to put in there now my potatoes and sweet potato. And can you hear it again? This thing away just and they will just be starting to cook. I'm giving it a good stir. I'm just trying to find that butternut squash. Okay, I will come back to that. Oh, here we are. Here's the other one. And these, when I say they're chopped small, they're about half a centimetre pieces. Because otherwise it takes ages. So I'm stirring that around. Right, let's get back to this cake. Hang on there. <laughs> Mix in. And this is quite a hot mix. So I also want to be careful that I let it cool for a bit before the egg goes in it. I've got the egg here in another box and I've just beaten it with a fork. So just breaking it up, mixing the yolk into the white, whizzing it around. And of course, with the mix being quite hot, It'll start cooking the egg very quickly. I'm mixing again in my bowl using a folding in method, round the edge, cutting straight across, round the edge, cutting straight across. And that's cooling now. So I'm going to put in the egg. Again, scraping it out. Let's get all the goodness out. Mixing that round. And what we want to do is make it just slightly sloppy mix. We want it well mixed in and nice and smooth. I've got my hot water and I have the lemon juice in there. That's now going in. Watch yourself now because you have got a sloppy mix and it's warm. So you don't want to spill it over yourself. I'm mixing this and what I'm trying to do is get it to a smooth consistency. So you're going to need to use a finger in this because other people can see that it's smooth. I'm having to feel with a fingertip that it is actually smooth. And that's not feeling bad. How are you doing? Yeah, I've got a nice sort of, if I said it felt like a thick custard, it's that sort of temperature, that sort of feel to it. Okay, somewhere here, and I might need my soup. Oh, it's on the cooker. I have got, um, this is a silicon loaf tin. It's probably in the old days when you had tins that were one pound and two pounds. I suspect this is about a two pound tin. And this is the really tricky bit for visually impaired people because we're now gonna pour this runny liquid into this loaf container. What I've done already is I've buttered it. I've lined the bottom with some 
parchment paper. I've buttered that just to stick it down. And now my mix is going in. I hope if anybody could see a puddle on the work surface, I've missed. <laughs> How are you girls doing with your following along? Uh, <laughs> I've got well, I've got a soup mix here, so I've chucked in all different types of that. Yeah, same here. It's uh, we're getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. Just hope it's right. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm sure it'll taste good. Yeah, yeah. But I'm still scraping. I want every lick out of this bowl. There's none for the sous chef later on. <laughs> you know what a naughty boy he is around cakes. Allegedly, have my mix in this pan, this baked loaf tin. So I'm going to put it on a, I'm just licking my hand. I'm going to give myself a wash. And you got your mixture thing now. The oven on a tray, just to make it easier. We go. Okay. We now have all our vegetables, I hope. I'm just checking all my boxes. Carrots, onions, sweet potato, ordinary potato, um, butternut squash are all in the pan now. I'm going to give them a stir in a second. And I'm just slip. Did you say 40 minutes for the cake? I did. 40 yes. minutes. I've got it in about of the middle shelf. That in my syrup in extra cool before I put the egg in, so I don't want to risk scrambling it. Now, I don't know whether you could see, I've got a very large pan for this soup. So have I. And I'm just stirring it over because the butternut squash I just put in is sitting on the top and I want to turn it over and just saute it slightly. I'm going to make vast amounts of soup here. Um, I will fill lots of boxes, freeze it, then I've got soups for suppers or lunches for, you know, ages. And if Wherever. I'm going to get into trouble, I might as well do it like this. So I'm listening to that soup. Um, I suggested that you use water, but actually I was going through the freezer and I found um, a litre box of chicken stock. And so I, I don't know about you, but if I'm roasting a chicken, I would then use all the bones. I would blast them in the oven with some carrot, celery, onion, um, just to get them browned off a little. And then I would boil them up to make my own kitchen chicken stock. And this is actually, I'm putting a finger in it. This is quite gelatinous, so it's a good stock. I've got a stock cube just in case I need a bit more flavour. But if you wanted to make this wholly vegetarian, you could put in a vegetable stock cube. So always when I'm making soup, when I've sautéed the vegetables, they've all collapsed down a bit. I am not going to put in more stock or more water than just, just, just covers the vegetables because otherwise it's going to be too thin. And that will probably take another, i uh, rinse out this box with some water and throw that in. But that litre is probably enough for those vegetables. Sounds like you girls are busy doing your baking. Yeah, so don't put cakes in the oven. So. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's about another, Ooh, quarter of a litre of water going in, but that's also rinsing out the last bit of my stock. So I'm going to turn that up now and get it to bubble. Okay. Oh, that's better. Well, it's a mission while soup comes to the boil. Everybody got their cakes in? Yes. I, ha I haven't just yet. Have you had a taste? No. I'm trying to get this syrupy mixture right. Have you got sugar in it? Yes. Can you feel the sugar anymore? No. It's probably done, isn't it? Is all the butter melted? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, 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 it's all melted. I've just put the egg in and the water. Right, and you could also put lemon juice, just a little bit of lemon juice, into this soup. Oh, yeah. Um, again, it just helps because you've got quite a lot of sweet things in here. You've got butternut squash, you've got sweet potato. We've caramelised it slightly. So all of that is going to give us quite a sweet note to the soup. So if you want to sharpen it up, freshen it, squeeze of lemon juice can be really good. Can you hear? Yeah. Can you hear that soup bubbling? Yeah, it's bubbling. Yes. I'm going to switch that off now because yeah. I want it to be a little bit cooler before I try and um, liquidise it. Hmm. Who else has got anything going at the moment? No, I'm waiting for the cake. That's all I've got. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mind you, it smells really nice. So fingers crossed. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not my fault. <laughs> no, no, it's not your fault. Right, I'm just going to bring my liquidizer in. Uh huh. Then we'll see how this cake's doing. Alexa, ooh, how long on timer? You have four minutes and 30 seconds left on your 40 minute timer. Okay, because I can smell it. Mm. I'm just put my hand in and feel the top. Mine's quite smelly, don't know. I'm still quite soggy on the top. I've just stuck a knife in it. Oh, mine is not. Mm. Mine has got, you know that little crack you get on cake sometimes? Yeah. yeah. So mm. Just putting a silicon mat. Oh, good. Tray on there, closing the cooker. So I don't lose any heat. So if I need to put it back in. Right. Talking thermometer, 32 degrees Celsius. I'm happy with that. And as I take the probe out, um, I can also feel that it's not um, sticky. Yeah. Can. So I reckon that is done. Mine feels nearly done. Yeah, quite... how does it feel? So on the top, it's quite good, but it's still a bit few cracks. But Because I cook nearly all my meat very, yeah. very slowly. Yes, you know, the nice clean, so it's almost, it must be done. Oh, nice, no, feel good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wet at all, it's underneath. Isn't it yeah. amazing? Yeah, unbelievable. Um, yeah, and it's not so cracking out. Oh, just, I'm going to do about a couple of minutes, just, you know. <laughs> I'm in shock. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Here's the blender. Oh. Liquidizer, or whatever you want to call it, plugged in, yes. power on. Right. Here is my hot pan. I'm just going to use my apron to take the lid off the hot pan. I want you to be really careful. I've got a silicon mat, so it's not slippy and it's not damaging my work surface. Coming back in. Okay. Here is my liquidizer. I'm taking the jug off the top and I'm hoping to find the, the hole into the jug. I'll go up, the jug up a bit, the yes. Sir. Thank you for those. You know, anybody wants to say left a bit, right a bit, you're very <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Thank you for that vote of confidence. Um, well, I can't so, see what you're doing, Penny. Pardon? I can't see what you're doing. No, I can't either. It's two of us in Gary, isn't it? <laughs> now, what I can smell in here is that lovely um, chicken stock that I made. Right, that is going onto the top carefully. The lid on, most of you know, using a liquidizer <coughs> will know it's got a little plug in the middle. Yeah. Make sure that's in there. Otherwise, you have a fountain. Of <laughs> hitting the to redecorate the room. And what I'm actually going to do is put a tea towel on the top with my hands there, holding it firm, and I'm now going to press the button. Ready? Yep. I think it mutes the sound of the noise of it. I don't know. It all goes oh. quiet, Penny, when you turn that mixer on. Oh, really? Yeah, it's oh. weird. You don't hear, you don't hear can't, it at all. Can't hear nothing, no. Oh, 
No, no. Right, I'm just giving myself a teaspoon. I'm not going to try and finish this today with all of you here. Put a teaspoon into the jug. It is hot. You're tasting it. I am. Yeah, I, ah. I tell you, this is really velvety. Good. Mm. Well done. Mm. We'll be right, right round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is delicious. So I'm going to do this repeatedly. Nice big crusty bread to go with it. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. Nice croutons would be lovely with it. Oh, croutons, yeah. That's, it. That's a posh way for saying little bits of toast. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to empty this into my ice cream box. Mm -hmm. And mm. then I'm going to taste it again because I've got different amounts of liquid left in the pan. So, you know, I've got more stock in the pan than vegetables and things like that. So I want to get oh, salt got my bad. together. Yeah. Then I'm going to add salt, oh. pepper, and probably a little lemon juice just to brighten it up. My battery's running out there. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going yeah. to do all of that now because that's just boring and you've seen how we do it. But keep yourself safe Good. if you're doing it. Make your own soups, freeze them. They are just delicious and great for winter. And now I'm getting my cake over to show you how impressive it is. And because I can't see, and most of you can't either, you can't say anything, but wow, isn't that looking fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> it smells lovely. <laughs> How's that? Can you oh, see that? See that? I'm squashed Higher? Higher, I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah, can see that. Fantastic. That looks delicious. delicious. I can feel yeah. this. It's soft. And <laughs> I'm going to leave it in this silicon mold until it cools, because otherwise it might just start breaking up a bit more. Mm. Very nice. Well done. So savoury buns next time. Various combinations. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the cake. We've had the cake. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Well done. Hey. Brilliant. Hey. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. you oh, can I uh, put your things down? Um, yes. And I will finish the baking session. Um, mm -hmm. So thank you all for coming along and baking along with Penny and ourselves. I wish we had smelly vision. Still waiting for the invention <laughs> of that. Um, as Penny said, her Christmas book clip from last year is on her website oh, oh, um, where you can download it. Um, we've also got it on the Open Site Hampshire website where you can also uh, find it. It's uh -huh. just book clips, which has links to the YouTube videos as well that we've mm -hmm. done over the past uh, last year of all of the recipes within that book clip. Mark. The next baking session will be on Monday, the 12th of December, via mm -hmm. Zoom at 10.30. If you'd mm -hmm. like to register for that, we will be creating that event, um, hopefully by the end of the week, um, mm -hmm. so that we, you can start registering for that. So look out on social media, um, our website, and also we will send an email with the link to this video to you and the link to register for the next Eventbrite session. If you have problems um, registering on the Eventbrite page, give OpenSite Hampshire a call. I'm looking at the wrong screen, I've just realised. Um, give <laughs> OpenSite Hampshire a call and we will be happy to register you uh, for the event uh, on Eventbrite. Okay, thank you. great. Well, thank you ever so much, everyone. And thank you so much, Penny, for doing this. And um, mm -hmm. we look forward to seeing thank you, you all again. Thank oh, you very much, everyone. Yes. I'll see you Bye. Thursday, Bye. Thank you, Penny. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you, Bye. Penny.